Scientists drained this lake and found something terrifying. Welcome back, Charlie here. Many of Earth's biggest mysteries are hidden underwater. From a lost city found under a lake, to a missing submarine finally found without its crew. First, we have to look at this giant skeleton. In 2017, researchers were roaming in the depths of the Mediterranean Sea. Their submarine camera was investigating the seabed, but that's when their camera captured the remains of a giant unidentified creature. These bones are absolutely colossal. It appeared to be some kind of serpent-like creature. The bones had clearly been there for some time. When the submarine's claw tried to pick up the bones, they disintegrated. But what on earth could this be? It did seem like the size of a whale, but no whale could have this anatomy, meaning these giant bones definitely do not belong to a whale. In fact, these may be the bones of an unidentified ancient creature. The skeleton had clay amphora sticking out of the mud, meaning this is likely proof of a gigantic ancient sea serpent. If you think sea creatures today are scary, I think the ones thousands of years ago were even more terrifying. Now I have to show you this lost Chinese city. Do you believe in Atlantis? That's the city which is apparently lost underwater. Well it turns out the real life Atlantis exists in China. This is Lion City. Divers found this lost city underneath Qiandao Lake. Lion City was inhabited for hundreds of years, but somehow made its way into this lake where it was lost for hundreds more years. People had no idea this city was lost under this lake for centuries. It's one of the best preserved ancient Chinese cities. Homes, temples, and other buildings are still intact, making this an amazing cultural and historic find. The city dates back all the way to 621 AD. Lion City is also very big. It was found in 2014 and is still being explored and researched today. Next, let's look at this poisonous snake. One day a man was kayaking down a river. That's when he noticed something that made his heart drop. To you, this may look like any ordinary snake, but the man in the kayak named the bearded biologist knew exactly what this was. You are looking at a copperhead snake coming right for this guy guy's kayak. Copperhead snakes are very venomous vipers. Bites can be deadly, and every year people lose their lives to copperhead snakes. Most people would have freaked out and paddled away, or even swatted the snake away using the paddle, but the bearded biologist keeps calm. He distracts the scary snake with his paddle, and then makes his way down the river. The venomous snake actually follows him for about 10 seconds, before losing interest and swimming away. Thankfully, this snake did not attack this man, but this snake could have easily caught up to him if it wanted to, making this one incredibly lucky near miss. Moving on, let's look at this missing submarine. In 2021, an Indonesian Navy submarine went missing. The submarine had 53 crew members on board. The Indonesian Navy began frantically searching for the submarine, and using another submarine eventually found it a few days later. The submarine was built in three parts, and these parts somehow separated. The submarine was found without its crew, but sadly, it was confirmed all 53 people passed away. It was only carrying enough oxygen for three days, but it was missing for over five days. The submarine had sank incredibly far. It was resting at the ocean's floor, around 100 kilometers north of Bali. The Navy found the submarine using sonar. Sonar uses sound waves to locate objects underwater. A remote operated submarine then took these photos and videos, confirming that it was in fact the missing submarine. Next, let's look at this gnome graveyard. Why are there hundreds of gnomes hidden under this lake? Under Wastwater Lake in England, you'll find these creepy garden gnomes. These gnomes have been here for years. Divers are often confused when seeing these in Wastwater Lake. It's England's deepest lake, at nearly 260 feet. But what are these gnomes doing here? Well, the gnomes are actually to help divers see. In the 1990s, three divers died in this lake. That's because they got disorientated and lost in the dark, muddy waters. So these gnomes were put here to help divers orientate themselves. I guess garden gnomes aren't completely useless after after all. Now we have to look at this airplane. Divers were scared when they found this plane underwater in Jordan. The divers assumed a plane had crashed into the sea, but surprisingly this plane was actually sunk on purpose. In 2017, this old plane was sunk by the Jordanian government. 
This was to create an artificial reef, providing shelter and food for fish. This helps marine life to live and thrive. Thankfully, no one was inside the plane when it was sunk, but they did put one creepy skeleton in the cockpit. Definitely a scary shock for any unsuspecting divers. Now let's look at this alien jellyfish. What is this bizarre creature? That's what many were asking after this was found in the Indian Ocean. It has a circular body and a large tentacle. It kind of looks like a balloon floating in the wind. It was found 23,600 feet below sea level, and no one knows how it survives. This was found by the world's deepest diving submarine. Some believe the animal may use this large tentacle to eat, but this creature remains incredibly unexplained and mysterious to this day. Next, let's look at this giant sea creature. One day on a Mexican beach, a gigantic sea creature was found. It was over 10 feet in length. Tourists and locals were stunned. But I can tell you what this animal actually is. This massive animal is known as an oarfish. These are actually twice as aggressive as sharks, making it scary there's so many people standing around it. Everyone on the beach seems very scared, but surprisingly, oarfish are rather common but they're not normally this big. The largest oarfish ever caught was a massive 36 feet. Moving on, let's look at Canal Saint Martin. Canal Saint Martin can be found in Paris, France, but in 2016, this canal was drained by scientists. Under the water, they made some incredible discoveries. It turned out many people had been using this canal to cover up crimes. Scientists found pistols in the canal. They also found motorbikes, cars, and bicycles, wine bottles, supermarket carts, and fire extinguishers, and even someone's abandoned toilet. Finally, I have to show you this lost Egyptian city. In the year 2000, researchers found a lost city off the coast of Egypt. The city was named Herak. Leon. Many thought this city was simply a myth, but thousands of years after it sank, it was discovered once again. The city had many buildings and homes, all built around canals, kind of like an ancient Egyptian Venice. It was once a grand city, but today it sits off the coast of Alexandria, Egypt. The mysterious part is no one knows how this massive city ended up underwater. Heraklion is still being explored and researched to this day, so if they ever find an answer, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Heraklion goes back to the 12th century century BC, and at the time was a very powerful city. It had one of ancient Egypt's biggest ports, meaning it was a large hub for trade. Some experts believe other ancient Egyptian cities may be hiding underwater, which is why many researchers are now looking for these supposed lost cities. Other lost Egyptian cities include Akhotaten, Abydos, and Norkritis. Maybe in the not so far future, we'll find even more of these amazing lost cities underwater. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which of these discoveries was the most incredible. I've been Charlie, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.